there is a very Western Anglo-Saxon kind of centric look at the UFO phenomenon among researchers and sometimes the media where they'll say, well, if you have American pilots telling us that they saw something, that's good because they're Americans or Canadians or British. You got Mexican pilots telling us they saw something. Well, really, does Mexico have an Air Force? I don't know. I, I kid you not. I, I, I really sort of overemphasize it, but that is underlying what you'll get. There's a case which was like number 14 or 15, the Father Gill sighting in New Guinea in the 1950s, 56 I think. Wonderful case. Multiple witnesses saw UFO. They call it the Father Gill sighting for a reason. All of them said that they saw what they saw. The only one who ever really gets quoted is Father Gill, who was the missionary in the village at the time. Why? Because he's white. And this, there is, it's not an undercurrent of racism or anything like that, um, certainly not intentional, but this, this cultural bias, that's the best way to put it, against cases that are not American, British, Canadian, maybe Australian or New Zealand. And it does exist, which is why you don't hear a lot about the multitude of cases from places like Turkey, Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, um, India. India, absolutely, Japan, China, you know, but, but there is that undercurrent of cultural bias, um, especially in sort of Western media, and even amongst Western UFO researchers, frankly, even serious ones.